Hail, my name is Catherine, and I am oh, wait. <laughs> I'll be creating Tony Bird, Audrey Ever, Breakfast with Tiffany, and Meg Victoria. Alright, so let's get started. First off, for uh, you want a clean, flawless um, look and not very powdery. So I'm going to use my Avon Idea Flawless um, Invisible Coverage <coughs> and Sand Beige. <coughs> well, my voice is going out. And I'm just going to do about two and a half pumps for the rest of my hair. I think um, using your fingers is a better method than a brush because a brush can um, pick up more than you want but like your fingers you can place just the amount you want on your face so. I'm sorry about the light, it's a very weird day in California today Like sunny, but overcast. So weird. Are you lying right there? A little bit in my jawline, so I can move it in my chin. Now, <coughs> now concealer. I'm gonna take my. Avon Ideal Shade in Light Medium. That's okay. And so it's thick. And so I'm going to eat my eyes. My eyes just like just stuck together. It's very weird. Around my nose, with that little red, the under redness, and any spots you need to take care of. So now we're going to do our eyebrows. Um, for this look, for this Audrey Hepburn look, her eye for in this movie, her eyebrows are very light and drawn on, but um, don't look like they they are drawn. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my Mary Kay eyebrow pencil and brood. For this look, you can use a Mac Omega color, which looks really, which looks really good for this look. If you want to, to um, use the eyeshadow base, use the Omega color. Or if you don't have like a Mac color, you can probably make so much it. So much of that Omega color. Her 
Um, the eyebrows are quite thick, so. I think mine will. Mine are quite thin, so I think mine. Thick. It looks thick. Next, we are going to do the eyeshadow. Um, Audrey's look um, is a um, very natural look. It's a very, um, which um, sometimes it looks like she doesn't wear eyeshadow at all. So we are going to use a um, sorry, I heard the, I heard something. Tiny is is a um booty call from um her Urban Decay palette number two color. I'm gonna use my eyeshadow from my eight and one neutral tone palette from Avon. And I'm just gonna use this color over here. I have this very light color. So if you wanna know what tiny does she use booty call from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to pop this from my lash line all the way to my brow bone. All over the lid. And this first eyeshadow collection actually your um, skin tone foundation color. Um, next we are going to um, use a contour color. And I'm going to use this one here. Little light brown color. And I'm just going to put it on the same little angle brush. And just go through my crease. Audrey has that perfect little, um, that perfect ice cell hit shape, so if you have a chance, then you just go back here. So we have to, like, refine a little bit, just like Tanya. But here you have a nice Really lucky. my uh, gel eyeliner from Maybelline and black. So we're going to line our lash line and then we're going to hook it up.
and there's that one out. I'll be right back and I'm gonna do the next part of the show and be right back with you guys. Okay, so that contour color you want for your um. Okay, let me get it out. Your eye socket. Um, take that and push it very fairly. Actually, very closely to your brush line. And if you watch my videos, where you know I love my Avon Astonish mask here. If you if you're new, then um welcome. Uh, I should have said this in the beginning of this. I should have said welcome in the beginning, but I'm saying it now. Um well, I will um let me see my Avon for this mascara. You give you at least three coats. If you don't like falsies, I give you hate like taking the time to put on false flashes. Well, my advice to you is to buy this mascara because if you put at least three coats, three to four coats on, then um, your lashes will look full and they will lengthen, lengthen, they'll um, be longer, just like false lashes, they like be the thickness of false lashes that you put on and the length. I've had like so many people ask me how I wear false lashes. I'm like, no, you don't. I'm just wearing mascara. They like don't believe me. So I feel like I wouldn't come over. Like some of my best friends I don't believe me that I just, I don't wear false lashes. They're like you don't even get that. I'm like, um, yes, I'm not wearing any. I'm gonna leave my um my bottom lash line bare. Then mascara on the bottom lash. Next is one lush. Um I mean Audrey look is um very uh, she has a very sculptured um face with her cheekbones and stuff so she doesn't have to wear bronzer or um such so do you ever get one of these from like Christmas and such so like little gift um makeup kits from like um Macy's or JC Penney's or like somewhere in the mall and such well, um, my friend got me one, and I tried out the, um, I've been using the, um, bronzer and this blush, this pinky blush, this pinky peach blush, and I really like it, so I'm going to use the, this, uh, pinky peach blush, and just like it. Um, I also like it. You can, if you want to, you can use a hi highlighter right on your um, cheekbones if you want to. But um, this, I think this um, blush does it all because it gives a little um, shine to it. Like not too shine. It's like a shimmery type of blush, so I think it's a good one. 
And then I'm going to take make these fresh from Avon. And I'm just going to use take my smooth minerals powder. And I'm just going to place it on my forehead. Ooh. On my temples. Down my nose. And the chin. And then lastly, I'm going to use a Beyond Color Lipstick from Avon in Shell. It's a peach color. Like this. You can see it. And place this on my lips. Do you do your friends ever point out to you when you're making a weird face when you put on lipstick? My friends do that. Like, what are you doing? I'm like putting on lipstick? <laughs> They're like, oh, I thought you were doing something else with your facial your facial expression. I'm like, no, I'm just putting on lipstick. Well, that is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed this recreation. Um if um I have a new blog post and I'll leave that in the comment and leave that in the description box. Um also remember to give this a big thumbs up. Um, also comment below which um, make a, make a tutorial, which time you ever make a tutorial you like me to recreate next, and I'll see you next time.